first bill emerges this year to legalize marijuana in Illinois, you would allow up to 24 plants at home. A Democratic state lawmaker has filed a bill to legalize in Illinois that likely goes further than other legislators prefer, but it has officially started the debate over complex legislation that will need to serve many interests. The bill, introduced January 25 by Republic. Carol Ammons of her, the measure is unlikely to pass because lawmakers are expected to act on a more restrictive proposal that's been in the works for more than a year. Among the more noteworthy provisions, Ammons' bill would allow for the creation of on-site consumption areas for customers to smoke or swallow the drug. The bill would also require 10% of the net income of a marijuana business to go to the local governing body, while also creating a relatively low 10% excise tax to generate state revenue. And it would include, Ammons has supported legalization since before she first took office in 2015. She previously, in Springfield, typically don't happen without long negotiations, so legislation introduced by a single lawmaker without such discussion may never see a vote. Of debate and dealing by former state republic. Of Skokie, the standard operating procedure is for lawmakers to work out details behind closed doors, often with lobbyists and administration officials, before putting a proposal into bill form and holding public hearings. In this case, Cassidy and state senior Heather Steens, Michigan legalized possession of marijuana December 6, 2018 and could serve as a blueprint for Illinois' own efforts toward legalization, though it's possible that Illinois could actually roll out legal recreational weed first, if all falls into place. Advocates believe it's an opportune time to propose legislation to legalize marijuana, with Democrats controlling the governor's office and both legislative chambers. Ammons has held her own meetings with stakeholders to craft her legislation, and said she isn't trying to disrupt the Steens Cassidy bill, but is trying to make sure that whatever bill is passed addresses damage done by imprisoning minorities at higher rates for drug offenses. The conversation needs to shift to how we're going to address the disproportionate harm in our communities, she said. We want to make sure Steens and Cassidy still are negotiating with various parties such as other lawmakers, the governor's office and law enforcement, and plan to introduce the bill by April. We're working with a lot of organizations and the administration to do an updated draft of the bill, Steens said. It's not going to, when Michigan legalizes possession of marijuana Thursday, the drug will join craft beers, perfect summers, and the Upper Peninsula as tourist attractions for out-of-staters. But Illinoisans should know that, as of now, there is nowhere they can buy marijuana legally in pure Michigan, as the states. One obvious difference between their proposal and Ammons is that they would limit residents to five home-grown plants, rather than 24 citing concerns by police about home-grown plants contributing to a black market. They also are not, like Ammon's proposal, Steens and Cassidy would expunge certain nonviolent drug offenses, and encourage minority ownership of marijuana businesses and investment in minority communities. As an indication of how various interests will fight over how to divvy up tax revenue from the new industry, Ammons bill would create a 10% excise tax on marijuana and send 30% of the proceeds to a state school fund. 50% Her bill would allow existing medical marijuana businesses to sell recreational pot as well, but she said the new program should include a majority of minority license holders. To prevent poorer to present their proposals, both Ammons and Steens and Cassidy plan to hold town hall meetings on the issue before legislative hearings. It's a big subject, Ammons said. We can't rush it, opponents hope to make their voice heard at any upcoming hearings. Brian Fengel, president of the Illinois Chiefs of Police Association, said his group members want to negotiate with legislators to minimize the danger from people driving while high, and they want funding to train local police on recognizing drug driving. In contrast to many black lawmakers, such as Ammons, the Illinois NAACP has been reported to oppose legalization. Drugs have already done too much damage in minority communities, said Tim McCann Arney, lobbyist for Healthy and Productive Illinois.
a coalition of anti-marijuana organizations. We don't understand. Decriminalization has already addressed overdue concerns about arrests for small amounts of marijuana, McCann Arney said. He also support if marijuana is legalized, the coalition hopes to at least eliminate home-grown pot, McCann Arney said, because some of it will inevitably supply the black market. And the coalition, whatever legalization looks like, McCann Arney said, it will never raise enough money for all the special interests fighting over a slice of the pie. There's no amount of taxation, he said, that would raise enough money for all the people who think they're going to benefit. Twitter at Robert McCoppin More coverage A Democratic state lawmaker has filed a bill to legalize recreational marijuana in Illinois that likely goes further than other legislators prefer, but it has officially started the debate over complex legislation that will need to serve many interests. The bill, introduced January 25 by Republic. Carol. Deborah Young grows medical marijuana for patients in her basement garden December 5, 2018, in Ferndale, Michigan. She said the state's Deborah Young grows medical marijuana for patients in her basement garden December 5, 2018, in Ferndale, Michigan. She said the state's Deborah Young grows medical marijuana for patients in her basement garden December 5, 2018, in Ferndale, Michigan. She believes Michigan Deborah Young grows medical marijuana for patients in her basement garden December 5, 2018, in Ferndale, Michigan. She believes Michigan.